for Sunday in L.A. The Nets beat the Clippers 112-108. Clean 5-0 and sweep yeah. on the West Coast. And as Steve Nash pointed out, getting it done in a variety of different ways. Yeah, a really historic road trip for the Brooklyn Nets. Winning all these games. Kevin Durant only played in one of the five West Coast games. What I love, too... Kyrie Irving, James Harden, they combined for 65 points, 15 rebounds, and 15 assists. But the big moment of the game was DeAndre Jordan with the tap in. DeAndre Jordan off the bench, 13 points, 11 rebounds. Like you mentioned, finding different ways to win. Big time performance tonight against a Clipper team that was at full strength. The Nets weren't. Yep. Now, Brooklyn, now the first Eastern Conference team since the 06 07 Pistons to sweep a road trip of at least five games exclusively against Western Conference opponents. And of the previous four teams to accomplish the feat, one went on to win an NBA title, Michael Jordan's 91 92 Bulls. The former Clipper, DeAndre Jordan, as Frank mentioned, had the biggest bucket of all. And after the game, our Michael Grady started his interview with DJ by asking, how the Nets were able to hold off a charge from L.A. down the stretch. Defense and rebounding, man. Uh, limit those guys to one shot. Make it tough for them, you know. When we switch, switch up physical, uh, get into the body. Um, we were able to lock in and get a couple stops in a row. And, uh, you know, James made some big free throws down the stretch. 11 points, 11 rebounds, four block shots for you. Describe that final offensive possession, though. It looked like three bodies were around you as you aggressively were able to get that go-ahead tip in. Uh, man, you know, just trying to be able to keep the ball alive. You know, I think it was Kai who got a good look at it. Um, or, or James, you know, those guys really, <laughs> really are, are, are our main guys. Uh, but I was just trying to, you know, either keep the ball alive. Hopefully they would have made it. But I was just, you know, trying to keep it alive and, and hopefully something will happen. 5-0 and oh on this West Coast trip. That's the first time in franchise history that you guys have been able to accomplish that feat. What are you most proud of with the way that you guys have gone about competing during this winning streak? Just the way we were able to, you know, you know, turn, turn around our, our season a little bit. Uh, you know, we had a couple, you know, bad losses. Teams came out and really jumped on us and were aggressive, and uh, we responded. But I feel like now we, we turn that around and we're the aggressors and, uh, you know, it has to be that way, especially if we're competing for something, uh, you know, bigger than all of us. Uh, it, it's going to take a lot of fight and it's going to take some, you know, some chippy games. And, uh, you know, that's 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 a great win against a really great team. Last thing for you real quick, you'll be playing in front of a few fans coming up on Tuesday here at Barclays Center. Message to the fan base as you guys get ready to return home. It's lit. <laughs> Brooklyn will return to action Tuesday with a home game against Sacramento and a limited number of fans will be in attendance at Barclays Center. Coverage starts on yes at 7 o'clock. For Frank Isola, I'm Bob Lorenz. Thanks for watching Nets Post Game Plus.